It's this background. MiddleEasy.com here with Victoria Steve Edwards. Uh, how good did that feel? It felt great, you know. Um, stop a guy that's never been stopped with strikes. Uh, to stop him, it's a feather in my hat. What was your uh, reaction when you landed the shot and the elbow? I mean, yeah, um, I landed the shot and then he, he started. He, I knew he went down hard. But he started to roll up to, to get in a position to try and defend himself. So um, it was one of those instances where it was like, I've got to take this guy out now. I can't let him recover. Um, I was able to, to make some space, and I, I, I know that elbow hurt because my elbow is still sore. It's bruised right now. It, it kind of hurts me. You guys had uh, a lot of mutual respect going on. Yeah. The thing, uh, thing at the range with the Twitch was pretty funny. But, but what did you say to Jeremy after the fight? I was just, I was just appreciative that he, you know, he took the fight. Um, I was glad that that he'd been able to pre prepare for me um, in the previous camp, and he said he, he kept training. But um, all I said to him was thank you for taking the fight, and I made sure to let him know that he does hit hard, man. Um, there's a couple shots he threw. I, I was able to block him, but I did feel him through the through the gloves. So what do you want next? I know that's kind of a broad question, but is there anybody out there that you want to fight? I want to fight everybody, man. That's the thing. Um, in the UFC, all these guys are high-level guys, you know. I want to fight better and better guys each time out, and, you know, make make a, make a realistic attempt at, at, at getting to that belt. Uh, you know, I might know my career isn't as long as it, as it would have been five years, ten years ago. So um, I want to just get as high as I possibly can. And um, the only way to do that is to continue to fight better and better competition. Jeremy's really tough, you know, and some of the guys that have beaten him are really tough, and those are some of the guys that I want to fight. You've been in the game a long, long time. How long we got left? Who knows, man. Um, barring injury, you know, um, realistically, I would say three, maybe four years. But you never know, you know, this sport and with modern medicine, I may be able to stick around for a while. And I still feel young. You got out of this uh, pretty much unscathed. But dude, you got some gnarly scars, man. Can you explain to us? Let me get a close up of some of these and show these guys. Can you explain that one right in the middle of the forehead? Well, this, uh, I've had that since I was five years old. I went through a windshield at five years old. So, yeah. Wait, you gotta elaborate more on how you just, you no know, one just goes through a windshield. What happened exactly? Oh, uh, it's 1982, you know, summer of 1982. And I'm sitting in, in my mom's bar with a friend's car to, to drop my babysitter off. And I begged her to go with her. And this is in the Bahamas. So we didn't have like the seatbelt laws and all those things. In 1982, you know, we didn't have, like, I don't even think the seatbelt seat belt laws were the same here then. You know, um, he was a carpenter. He had some, some wood in the back seat with nails in it up, you know, as a convertible. So I was sitting on the back of the convertible. And a guy didn't stop at a stop sign. So um, my, my mom slammed into him and I went hit the dashboard, went through the windshield. Was in the hospital for a couple of days, got 32 stitches. Your mom must have shit a brick. Right? Yeah, she freaked out. I remember, um, she kept the shirt for a long time. I don't remember if she still had, I don't know if she still has it, but she had on an orange shirt that day. I, all I remember is um, her getting out of the car and running up to me and grabbing me and screaming. And I didn't know what was going on. And I hugged her, and then uh, when she, when I pulled my head away to her from ask what was wrong, you know, there was blood all over her shirt. So I thought she was bleeding. I mean, I was five. I was wasn't very smart. Were you kind of in shock? You didn't really feel. I guess I was in shock because I I don't think I felt anything at the time. Um, but I I don't know if I passed out or stayed awake or what. But I just remember being in the hospital and having a lot of people come to visit. Were they worried about like, how much blood you lost? I mean, especially being that young? I have no idea. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Cool. I'm glad to see you healed up, man. Congratulations on the win. And uh, Middle East, loves you. You know that. I love you guys, man. Thank you. All right. Appreciate you taking the time, man. Me too.